What's up guys, this is Green Blob yet again for another exciting freeware tutorial. Now, what we are going to be creating today is in fact installing these plugins, which are custom plugins. They are called FreeFrame plugins and they just give you an extra leap of functionality whilst using Wax 2.0. So as you can see, I've applied some color correction found in this plugin pack to my video and just see it adds an extra depth to it. So if I shut off this, you can just see the color correction that I've applied to this video. So as you can see, before, after, there is a big difference. So let's get started. Now what what you're going to have to do is download the Green Blob plugin pack, a which is indeed a pack which I've created myself full of wax custom plugins. So an annotation will appear in the bottom right as you can see and just install that plugin pack and we are ready to get started so download the link and we are ready so once you have downloaded it you will go to the directory that you have downloaded it in in my case I have in downloaded and extracted the archive in which they came in and put them on my desktop. So what I'm going to do is open that folder. Now when you open zip for archive in which these plugins are inside and in which indeed you download them in, you will see a readme file and a plugins folder. Now what we will be doing is copying the plugins into the Wax installation folder and telling wax which place these plugins have been saved so these plugins have been named to reflect their original owners such as all of the free frame plugins being named with the appropriate Pete who created them now a link is in the description to his home page now let's get started so we have our plugins pack now what we need to do is copy that pack into the wax installation folder now you can find that folder in the wax of course installation folder so let's get started go back into the root directory and copy the entire plugins folder then navigate to your wax installation directory in my case it is in c program files times 86 and then sony which in your case should be the same although with the possible exception of wax being in debug mode instead of sony the reason my installation is in sony is because i needed it as a plugin for sony vegas so go into your wax installation folder in my case vegas pro 9 in your case either either sonic foundry vegas 4 or debug mode wax 2.0 so open that folder and then you have the wax root folder so let's copy that plugin back into this folder by going right click paste or of course the control v keyboard shortcut and we have our plugins folder inside the wax installation folder if you open that you've just got all of those plugins which you can use so go back into the root wax directory and open the exe named wax invoker so open that and it will attempt to load plugins don't worry about that just continue So, let's get started. Now, we've got all that, but that's just an error on my behalf. So, go into the File or Edit Preferences dialog. Then, delete all of the third-party plugin folders which you previously had, and then click Add. Within that menu, navigate to your installation directory once again in the Choose Plugin Folder to Add dialog, and navigate to your program directory in my case here then simply select the presets button I mean plugins button I mean plugins folder and then press OK 
then just simply press OK and then dismiss the notice that comes up. Once you've done that, you can simply close Wax, save whatever project you had open, and then reopen Wax. So now, if you navigate down the page, you get these free frame plugins, which of course include some new plugins such as Levels, Glow, and Time Warp, and Directional and Radial Blur, which can be used to symbolize motion blur, which is a much documented and sought after feature within Wax. You also get these virtual dub filters. I do not recommend using them but you can if you know the consequences which are that your file cannot be saved with the plugin parameters that you have chosen so generally use the free for frame plugins now i'm going to quickly go through the method of use that you will use these plugins for so start a new project with the frame width as 1 to 80 and my frame height as 720 frame rate as 30 as per usual so now we have a blank composition go back to the media pool and then add whatever media you would like I am going to be using the footage from my masking tutorial so we have our footage drag it down onto the timeline and we have some blank footage so let's go to our free frame plugins and drag down the levels preset as you can see nothing much has happened yet so expand the levels plugin options now we have all our levels options and then check the auto option as you can see simply it has applied an instant auto fix to the plugin but you can change that so uncheck the uniform option and then go down now down the bottom we have our low and high percentile options now you can adjust them to suit your brightness and contrast requirements in my case I want this to be rather epic so I'll just increase that a little bit so we have a nice simple contrast and lighting adjustment now what I also want to do is bring out the blue in this scene so I'll go to the blue input floor and rise it oh sorry blue input floor, output floor and rise it so we have just a bit more of that blue low lighting in the scene and the blue output ceiling and lower that so the darks are really you know green and no, just simple adjustments. So now we have our color corrected scene using a custom free frame plugin. That's it for this tutorial. Go to my channel for more, and of course, subscribe if you like my videos.